World WAR 1 Part 2 Content that will be here. Archduke Franz Ferdinand Kaiser Wilhelm II World War I begins the Western Front World War I books and art First Battle of the Marne America enters World War I Russian Revolution The Eastern Front Gallipoli Campaign Battle of the Isenzo World War I at Sea World War I Plains Second Battle of the Marne Role of the 92nd and 93rd Divisions Toward Darmistice Treaty of Versailles World War I Casualties Legacy of World War I Photo Galleries Archduke Franz Ferdinand Tensions had been brewing throughout Europe, especially in the troubled Balkan region of Southeast Europe, four years before World War I actually broke out. A number of alliances involving European powers, the Ottoman Empire, Russia and other parties had existed for years, but political instability in the Balkans, particularly Bosnia, Serbia and Herzegovina, threatened to destroy these agreements. The spark that ignited World War I was struck in Sarajevo, Bosnia, where Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, was shot to death along with his wife, Sophie, by the Serbian nationalist Gavrilo Princip on June 28, 1914. Princip and other nationalists were struggling to end Austro-Hungarian rule over Bosnia and Herzegovina. The assassination of Franz Ferdinand set off a rapidly escalating chain of events. Austria-Hungary, like many countries around the world, blamed the Serbian government for the attack and hoped to use the incident as justification for settling the question of Serbian nationalism once and for all. Wilhelm II, Friedrich Wilhelm Victor Albert January 27, 1859 June 4, 1941, anglicized as William II was the last German Emperor, German, Kaiser, and King of Prussia, reigning from June 15, 1888 until his abdication on November 9, 1918. Despite strengthening the German Empire's position as a great power by building a powerful navy, his tactless public statements and erratic foreign policy greatly antagonized the international community and are considered by many to be one of the underlying causes for World War I. When the German war effort collapsed after a series of crushing defeats on the Western Front in 1918, he was forced to abdicate, thereby marking the end of the German Empire and the House of Hohenzollern's 300-year reign in Prussia. Kaiser Wilhelm II Because mighty Russia supported Serbia, Austria-Hungary waited to declare war until its leaders received assurance from German leader Kaiser Wilhelm II that Germany would support their cause. Austro-Hungarian leaders feared that a Russian intervention would involve Russia's ally, France, and possibly Great Britain as well. 